So I woke up today at 8.30 a.m. to the sound of the iPad mini 7 alarm clock with 100% battery life. Last time my wife and I decided to turn in early, hoping for a restful night's sleep, feeling incredibly exhausted after an unusual sleep pattern. Hoping for a restful night's sleep, however things didn't go quite as planned. I found myself wide awake at 4am, granted I did go to sleep at 9.30pm, however my body decided that it didn't have enough rest and I attempted to start my day and even went as far as taking a shower thinking it would help me feel more alert, but the fatigue eventually caught up with me and despite my best efforts to stay awake, I ended up succumbing to sleep once again leading to a later start at 8.30 a.m. I prefer not to use earbuds or headphones when I first wake up, but I have to listen to some relaxing lo-fi music. So why not test out the iPad mini speakers? They're tiny, but pack a punch. I actually think the speakers sounded pretty high quality. It wasn't amazing, but the music just faded into the background. I didn't notice any imperfections like too much bass or treble, which is always a good sign. So I normally start my morning with a cup of coffee and I usually watch YouTube videos on the economy and stock market. However, I watched a video about how you can properly hydrate yourself by adding salt to a glass of water. I've been prioritizing hydration, especially as we get closer to my half marathon date. But since I ate pretty bad yesterday, I promised myself that I'd do a 16 hour intermittent fast. So this hack can be a nice workaround opposed to using hydration tablets that have sugar. I didn't know how much salt I needed, so I opened ChatGBT on the iPad mini to see how much salt I should add to my cup. I couldn't find a measure, so I ended up just eyeballing it. So my first concern with using the iPad mini, if my personal training app has an iPad version and to my luck, there is an iPad version. It was really seamless, just simply logged into my account and I have my workout ready to go along with all my history. So like my photos, my caloric intake and really anything that I logged, which obviously makes sense, but it still was a concern of mine because I wasn't expecting this app to have support for iPad OS. I also just realized that I double booked my Spanish lessons with my hand surgeon appointment. So I'm gonna have to download italki and message my Spanish instructor that. So I feel bad about that, but hopefully we can reschedule for next week because tomorrow I'm going to Phoenix. Lo siento, pero no puede venir la lesión, nuestra la lesión de español. I don't know how to say, can we book? So like after, can we book? Uh, I could say our next meeting, which will be nuestra la proxi, nuestra proxima, le, proxima lesión, proxima la semana. I gotta download Reverso on text, which is my favorite app to use for translating. Reservat, oh my gosh, of course it's Reservat. It's still a little early, brain is still trying to turn on. So can we reserve a lesson for next week? Podemos reservar un lesión por próxima semana. Let's see. Podemos reservar una lesión para la próxima semana. Para la próxima semana. Battery life, guys, we're at 80%. I know I just did an update. We start off with 100% at around like 8-ish in the morning, like 8 a.m., 8 a.m., 8, 8, 8 30. And we're already at 80%. And I really haven't even started my day. Like, we still have to go all the way to Manhattan today. And I also still have to work out. Let's just see what happens. So 
So that took a lot longer than I anticipated, but these are the RS, the R5 rear speakers from Sony. They are so clean. The RS5, yeah. These are the RS5 speakers from Sony. I haven't set these up yet, so the sound system isn't fully complete yet. I need to charge these, and then I also need to set up the subwoofer, but I think I'm gonna actually try to finish setting it up using the iPad. So these speakers have 10 hours of battery life. So hopefully, I think it just takes maybe 10 minutes to get, I think 10 minutes, five minutes to get 90 minutes of charge. I have to look at the brief to see how long I need to charge the speakers in order to get 90 minutes of battery life. Made it to my hand surgeon appointment, and for a quick battery life check, we're at 55% at 145 p.m. just got out of my hand surgeon appointments. I've made really good progress, which is good. We have been tracking my progress in physical therapy, but it is refreshing to hear that from the doctor. So she thinks that I have some more room for my finger to be more straight. So I'm gonna do physical therapy for another six to like seven weeks. I'm trying to shoot for like 10 sessions, but you all know like life happens. Actually 10 is two weeks are baked in for me not making because I travel so much so technically I'm supposed to do 12 but nonetheless it's a good sign and I really don't want to have surgery so it's such a vibe here this is a very unique neighborhood in New York City all these buildings look like they were made in like the 1800s like that building says 899 if it was actually made in 899 I would not be shocked but I'm actually gonna use the iPad mini for sidecar this table it's not the biggest table in the world. It's not super small, but in New York, pretty cramped out here. So it's cool to be able to use this as a second display without it taking up too much tabletop real estate. This device just feels so much more like private and like discretionary. I feel like it doesn't draw too much attention if you're trying to be more low key. And it's plenty of screen real estate. The display is bright enough, even in this well-lit environment that I'm in right now, being outside, I got no problem using this. So obviously, New York City fashion is top tier. And it's hard not to spend money if you like fashion, especially because you're just amongst it all the time. Like some of the coolest brands and clothing stores in the world are at your fingertips every day. But it's moments like this that make me really love New York City. I bought a $7 meal from a halal food truck. Food is perfect, the texture of the lamb, the chicken, it's just chef's kiss. And right now, I'm just using my hotspot on my iPhone 16 Pro Max to catch up on some first things first. One of my favorite sports talk shows. And, there, and there's this group of guys who are putting on like a jazz show for free right now in Madison Square Park. I never come here, but it was a perfect day to come. So I'm just going to enjoy being outdoors. And this pigeon is trying to get some of my food.
Two. So I ended the night testing out AirPlay with the iPad Mini 7. Using AirPlay 2 on the iPad Mini 7 with my new Sony surround sound system created a truly unique viewing experience. Despite the iPad's compact size, I was able to enjoy Thursday Night Football with immersive theater quality audio. The ability to stream high quality video from the iPad to my surround sound setup allowed me to have an intimate viewing experience on a smaller screen while enjoying rich, encompassing audio. This setup showcased the versatility of the iPad Mini 7, proving that you don't need a large screen to have a cinematic experience. My initial impressions of the iPad Mini 7 is that it's incredibly portable. I think it's great for seeking an entry iPad OS device or a powerful yet compact device for on-the-go multitasking and creativity. It's also ideal for users wanting Apple Pencil Pro compatibility and Apple intelligence. The device looks great, the battery life lasts it all day, has a bright and vibrant screen that performs well even in direct sunlight. While it may feel like a marginal upgrade as we await Apple's AI advancements, it's still a solid choice for many users. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more iPad Mini 7 content, please give this video a thumbs up or comment below some of your thoughts.